Rotated in behind the net. Puck loose along the corner for Lindbergh. Back out top for Holla. It is 20th of the season earlier in the game. He'll wrist it towards the net. I got blocked in front with a maze of players in front of Dubnik. Perron keeps it alive with a wrist shot. It's blocked away by Brodeen. And Dumba banks it up. This won't be icing, though. Stahl's going to win the race. They're going to call a penalty on David Perron for a hook on Eric Stahl. And Perron with a little frustrated shove on Stahl as they blow the play down. Well, Perron knows that if Stahl gets to this, that if, if he gets to the loose puck, it's going to be a goal. They're talking to Riley Smith and James Neal now. Will this be an automatic goal, Ray? Or no? I, I don't. I mean, it, it very well might be. I, I don't believe it should be because Stahl doesn't have the puck and the puck's going to go behind the net. Brad Watson is over here saying to Gerard Gallant, it doesn't matter. So my I, my thought is this is going to be a goal. Look, this puck's behind the net. It's going to count. And without shooting it into the net, Eric Stahl's going to have his second goal of the night. So it will be a goal here for the Wild. And Gerard Gallant, no matter what he hears, is not going to like the explanation from Brad Watson. So Brad Watson was just explaining to him, and obviously I didn't understand the rule either, but saying it doesn't matter if he's out in the clear, which he was, and there's a foul that occurs, the goal counts. So sitting over there, not shooting it into the net, that's about the easiest one that Eric Stahl's going to get. <laughs> you don't see that every night. A goal that never crossed the goal line. But Eric Stahl will get his second of the game in 22nd of the season. And it'll come at 18:31, and for the third time in the game, Minnesota has a three-goal lead. Eric Stahl, somebody ready?